G'day everyone. For as long as I can remember, and that's a fair while when it comes to using Oracle, one of the cool things about Peel SQL was its nice seamless integration with getting data from the database. You could easily go get a whole chunk of data in one pass of the database using some of the more complex Peel SQL data structures. Let's um, do a little example here. So you can see here I've got a department list type, which is a table of department rows. Now I'll declare a variable called LDepartment, and it just takes me one select statement. I simply bulk collect everything from the department table into that array, and the job is done. It's nice and easy. Where things have started to get me a bit more um, cumbersome though, is of course, times change. And JSON has become the dominant player now when it comes to passing big chunks of data around. So we need to be able to take those existing code bases, which are all using the Peel SQL data types, and convert them to JSON. Up until now, that's been fairly cumbersome to do. Here's an example of how I might do it. So you can see here I've got my existing data types as before, and now I've got a couple of new JSON variables I've declared. I can bulk collect the data just as I did before into my department variable. But now to convert it to JSON, I now have to loop through each one of those rows, and you can see here I've instantiated the JSON fragment, and I sort of populate the various bits and pieces into that JSON document. And then after I've finished looping through all the data, the job is done. I print out my JSON, and as you can see, I've now converted that data structure into a JSON, which can be sent back via a REST service or anything that needs data as JSON. But of course, that's a fair bit of work, fair bit of cumbersome code there just to do that data conversion. Let's now check out how that looks in 23AI. You'll be amazed. Here's the same data structures again, my department row type, my Peel SQL array. As before, I simply do a bulk collect. Now, how do I convert it to JSON? Well, I simply call the JSON constructor function. I pass in that variable and the job is done. It literally is that easy. I just take my Peel SQL data type and say, hey, I want some JSON and the job is done. This will work for other Peel SQL data types as well. For example, V arrays. In this case, I'll do another example here. Now I've got a department name list, which is just a V array of department names, declare a couple of variables. And this time I'll just select the department name into my department variable. Once again, I simply just say convert it to JSON. Because we started with a V array, the database knows that the most likely thing you want back is a JSON array. And as you can see there, we get a JSON array back just by using that JSON constructor function. And of course, you can mix and match these things as well. Let's do one more example. This time I've got a cursor, C department, and it's selecting a couple of columns from the department table. And I've got a V array of the row types. So I'm mixing cursors, row types, and V arrays here. Once again, I just do a open the cursor, fetch bulk collect into my Peel SQL data type. And once again, just a simple JSON constructor function to immediately convert it to JSON. If I look down, you can see now I'm getting a array because it mapped from a V array of JSON fragments. Once again, super easy, no looping through the result set, just a simple call to a constructor function. So in 23AI, you can keep all that code that you currently have, which has complicated and powerful Peel SQL data type structures. But if you need to pass that data around as JSON to a calling interface, just a simple constructor function to the JSON function, and you're done. It's as easy as that. Enjoy Peel SQL and JSON in 23AI.